Hello friends, in this video we'll look at something extremely interesting about Scratch programming uh, which is this concept of running without screen refresh, right? Now, this particular concept gets relevant in case of my blocks. So whenever you create a block, a new block that does some custom program that you want it to do, uh, you get this option called run without screen refresh right now we are quite tempted to tick this but it's which makes the program generally go faster but it's important to understand what this really does so that we know when to use it and how to use it effectively now before we move on here understanding what running without screen refresh means let us take a moment to understand what does screen refresh really mean uh, well, in simple words, screen refresh is the act of redrawing the scene that is displayed on the screen, right? So let's say there's a laptop or there's any kind of device on which you are looking at in on, or you're doing your programming. You will find that this screen that you see on the, the scene that you see on the screen is in fact not a static one. Even if the scene is not changing, it turns out that the system, in fact, keeps drawing it again and again, right? So, for example, in this case, it draws this, a short while later, it draws it again, a short while later, it draws it again. And that act is called screen refreshing, right? Now, if, when you're playing, for example, a video or an animation, then, of course, from scene to scene, there's a small change. And if it is done fast enough, right, if this refreshing happens fast enough, then our eyes perceive all this to be happening in say in a continuous motion right in fact it turns out that if you are refreshing say at 30 frames per second which means 30 times in a second you refresh the screen then it will look like everything is continuous right but nowadays devices are doing even faster uh, which give you maybe let's say a, a more smoother look let's say right but 30 frames per second is quite standard so every screen that you're looking at in an electronic device is actually being redrawn 30 times in front of uh, you know for it to display right now that's the basic concept Let's now see what it means for us in Scratch, right? So let's say there's a very simple code. Say we have, you know, this cat go to zero, zero, wait one second, and then repeat 100 times, move one step, right? So let's just see this in action. Uh, so I've put this code here. Let's say go to zero, zero, wait one second, and then repeat 100 times, move one step, right? So when I run this code, right? When I run this code, notice my sprite goes to zero, zero, and then slowly it moves away, right? Now, really what's going on here, like I just said, whatever we are seeing now, even now when the screen is static, is in fact being refreshed, right? So what is going on here is that as this loop happens, as this loop happens, so every time there's a you know change in position, Scratch is in fact redrawing the screen for us, right? So if we go back to the presentation, in fact, Scratch is drawing screen multiple times in the, while this this whole thing runs. Uh, for example, maybe when the cat was here, then after some time the cat was here, the cat was here, and so on and so forth, right? So this is called the process of refreshing the screen. So when the loop is running, every time the Scratch is uh, I mean, the, the screen is being redrawn so that we can see the motion, uh, you know, happen. It kind of gives a nice feeling, right? Mm -hmm. But a question comes up, can I somehow not see these intermediate steps, right? So can I somehow just say, okay, look, I just want this whole thing to happen. And then I want the screen to be refreshed, right? So the answer is actually, yes, you can do that. Uh, if let's say this was the only piece of code in the program, so the program is very simple. Uh, let's say this had only this code, then you can use what is called the turbo mode, right? In fact, I've, uh, you know, there's a video I've done on turbo mode, uh, which is very powerful. For example, when we do drawing related activities, so lots of loops, we can put them all in one code and turn on the turbo mode. Uh, so to, it will show the final result, but not the intermediate uh, steps, right? However, if this code is not the only piece of code, in fact, if there are other pieces of code as well, can we somehow make a specific part of the program run in this mode that it does not refresh the screen while the code is running, right? So there, the answer is yes. In Scratch, you can use MyBlocks to do this. In fact, this is an extremely powerful feature of MyBlocks, which is not available uh, in any other way of doing equivalent implementation. So MyBlocks become powerful when we have the screen uh, running without screen refresh. But we must remember, like I said, to tick this run without screen refresh, right? So let's look at some examples. In fact, I'm going to give you three examples here and then we'll come back here to see a common thread between all these examples so that hopefully it become clear. So let's go back to our you know, same uh, uh, thing here. So let's say here, instead of doing this code the way I have done it here, say I define a my block and the way I do that is, well, I say, okay, look, I edit this because I previously said make a block uh, and I've said, okay, take steps, how many steps you want and how many times, right? So for now, first I will just remove this run without screen refresh. So if I did this, uh, so and I let's say I re instead of doing this code say I s call this my block here and I say wait one second and take say steps uh, take say 100 steps uh, so sorry take one step say 100 times right so if I did this I expect the code to behave exactly what was happening earlier and indeed that's what happens we notice that scratch cats moving uh, you know smoothly because 
between this you know this iteration so notice this this definition is exactly same as this as this loop runs i keep on redrawing the screen again and again right but let's say i go and edit this function and i say that this time run without screen refresh so if i go and take this particular thing what is going to happen is that scratch is going to compute all of this as though it just happened at once right and then it will display the screen afterwards right? which means that it will not display the screen uh, it will not refresh the screen as this code is going on and this will look quite like magic right so let's say i did this notice immediately it waits for one second then immediately it makes this 100 moves right so it's like this particular piece of code ran inside what is called the turbo mode so it did not show the intermediate screen right so this was example number one uh, let me just move forward i'll remove this thing in fact i'll hide this cat completely uh, maybe i'll just hide this sprite I'll, I'll put the other code in another sprite here uh, this time round what i want is that i will you know uh, i'll change I'll, maybe i'll switch the backdrop to yeah so i've switched this backdrop now i want this cat to sense if it is touching this particular color and if it is then i want it to move left which means change x by minus one until it's no longer touching right so this is kind of like a interesting piece of code so let's say i did this so what i expect is that yes it will wait for one second and thereafter it slowly starts moving away from this color uh, because of this repeat until block so it and it keeps doing this until this condition becomes true which means until it's no longer touching uh, you know this color right let's say now i do this same code as part of a my block right so here i've defined a my block called move away and notice the code is exactly the same repeat until not touching this color change x by minus one right so again let's see this you know if i've turned on yeah so here i'll first disable this running without screen refresh and what you'll see is that if i just stick in this code then it's as usual nothing you don't expect any difference and cat slowly as you see moves away but let's say i run this thing without screen refresh which means i i go so i let it be here i go and edit this block to say run without screen refresh now if i did this it's actually quite magical again what will happen really is that sprite will end up there but immediately it appears as though it come, it came out here. And now this is extremely useful in platformers when you, for example, want to do a collision, right? So maybe sprite is coming from left. It, if it ends up here, you want it to, end, uh, you know, uh, you want it to kind of get out of this say patch. But it happens fast without running when you run without screen refresh. So it looks like it never, in fact, went inside, right? So very powerful, quite useful, right? Let's take one more example. So I'll again, you know, uh, remove this piece of code and I'll go here and okay, maybe I'll just go and hide that sprite as well so that there's no confusion. Now, in this particular code, what I'm doing is that I will, you know, um, I'm going to create a grid of sprites, right? So I'm going to basically create a two-dimensional grid of sprites. Uh, again, for this purpose, I have written, a, you know, a, a repeated loop here, a repeat loop inside a repeat loop. Uh, there's a separate video I've done on, on how this code works. So I create clones and I basically create clones in a, in a grid and I make them show, right? So this piece of code, uh, like I said, there's a video I'm linking to. You can look at it separately. But here I've created a my block which does this whole thing so it's called create grid columns and rows right so let's say first thing if i go and sorry if i go and say edit this block and i run this with like i mean without selecting this without run, run without screen refresh so what happens is that when i start this and wait for one second and all these clones are formed so notice i form the first row the second row and like that the six uh, the five rows so there are like 60 clones created because 12 columns and five rows and it takes a long, it takes a while for these clones to get created, and in the, the because the whole, uh, you know, screen is getting refreshed again and again, right? But let's say I do the same exact thing, without changing, with with taking this run without screen refresh, right? Now something uh, happens. Basically, I wait for one second, and I see that immediately all these clones appear because what really happened is that Scratch did all of this, these two repeat loops, all of this without in between refreshing the screen so it did not show us the screen again and hence it showed us the final outcome right so that's the whole idea uh, let's take a look back at all these three examples uh, you know let's see this once again we took three examples uh, first one take steps repeat sometimes move some steps then repeat until and finally two repeated loops inside each other right now the important point here is that all of these definitions have some version of the repeat loop and this part is very important because this entire concept becomes relevant when we are running these loops right so whenever you have function you have a function which is using a repeat loop which is in fact very common lots of functions will have that 
you can try doing this you know running without screen refresh it will speed up the entire code but one thing i must point out that just like in the turbo mode right the logic of the code does not change whether you use run without screen refresh or without a with screen refresh right so that part is important to understand there is no magic going on here all it is doing is that it's computing all this exactly as it would do you know uh, say without screen refresh or with screen refresh it's doing the same thing it's just the way it is displaying so in case we are selecting without screen refresh it keeps you know it does all of this and then shows you the final outcome otherwise it keeps refreshing the screen again and again it looks like going a bit slow right so i hope this gave you an idea uh, do try this out and do leave comments in the you know in this video if you need more clarity or something like that yeah take care thank you so much bye bye